Greetings to all. I'm Asia of class 8A. Today, I'm going to present my views on a renowned book that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. So here goes. Wealth is certainly the most desirable thing, but poverty has its sunny side. Alcott's story begins with the four March sisters, the nearly perfect little woman, Meg, the tomboyish Joe, the shy but wise Beth, and the artist of the family, Amy, sitting in their living room, lamenting their poverty. The girls decide that they will each buy themselves a present in order to brighten their Christmas. Soon, however, they change their minds and decide that instead of buying presents for themselves, they will buy presents for their mother, Marmy. Marmy comes home with a letter from Mr. March, the girls' father, who is serving as a Union chaplain in the American Civil War. The letter inspires the girls to bear their burdens more cheerfully and not to complain about their poverty. Featuring suspense, humor, and engaging characters, Alcott's Little Women explores their lives as they make their way into adulthood. What becomes of the sisters as they fight the dangers of gender stereotyping while being torn between familial duties and personal growth? Sometimes noted, sometimes surprising, this coming-of-the-age novel brings for you a delightful surprising yarn of family life as the gripping tale of each of the four sisters march along. Little Women is one of those novels that everyone should read in their lifetime. It's a true classic for many reasons. I reread it recently and every time I read it, I discover a new little nugget of wisdom or life lesson. Even though the book was set in 1860s, it's still relevant for encouraging girls to become strong women today. Here are some of my favorite life lessons that Elusa May Alcott gifted us in Little Women. No matter how hard it may be, try to forgive. Don't give in to jealousy. There will always be someone with more than you. Giving is a greater joy than receiving. Fine feathers often hide not so fine words. So focus on what's underneath rather than outer elegance. Joe, our prolific writer, says in the book that she likes good strong word that means something. I absolutely agree with her because especially as a woman who is trying to break into a predominantly male occupation, the words you choose have a huge impact on the way you're perceived. Choose your words carefully and express yourself the way you want to be understood. Be worthy love and love will come is as applicable today as it was in the 1860s. We cannot expect ourselves or anyone to come along and save us or make us whole. We have to be fully satisfied and sure of ourselves as individuals, only after which we can truly experience everything love has to offer us. You can handle everything that life throws at you as long as you try. To conclude here, I'd like to quote one of my favorite lines from the book. I'm not afraid of the storms, for I'm learning how to sail my ship. Thank you.